Women's biology is driven by the ovarian hormone cycle, which is very different than the male biology, which is driven by the adrenals. In fact, in 1977, the FDA formally banned all women of childbearing potential from all clinical research, <laughs> and that ban remained in effect until 1993. We are creating our societal, societal structures based on the data that we have, which is very male-centric. Now, the female neurology is very different. It's wired completely differently. So the male brain is um, reward driven, as you mentioned, because dopamine is the master neuroregulator for the male neurology and for the endocrine cascade that happens, uh, the neuroendocrine cascade that happens, um, dopamine is kind of the supportive driving factor there mm -hmm. for women. It's very different. It's oxytocin regulated. So oxytocin is the master neuroregulator for women, which means that the female brain and the female physiology is more connection-based. Dopamine actually squelches oxytocin. It makes total sense. And we're already not getting enough opportunity for oxytocin in our society. It's not a priority, even though it's so crucial and important for women. 